What's up, everybody? Uh, Kevin Perbazi here talking sports with to you today. Um, posted a video a little bit earlier talking about my, my thoughts on the NFC Championship game, and I want to flip over and talk about the AFC Championship game. Uh, start off, what an incredible performance, again, by Tom Brady. Of course, he does have the two picks. Um, one was deflected, and he had the, the bad one in the, in the, in the end zone in, in the first quarter that could have really blown this game wide open. But they did it again. I will be the first to tell you. I thought the Chiefs were going to run away with this one. Patriots are three and five on the road um, this entire season. The Chiefs have been virtually unstoppable at Arrowhead. It looked like a mismatch of epic proportions. But one team had Tom Brady, one team had Bill Belichick, and one didn't. Last night, the Patriots dominated that game for much of the night. And in typical Patriots fashion, shut down the other team's offense for much of the, for the entire second half, or first half. The Chiefs hardly scored any points in the first three quarters. In fact, they only mustered up seven. The highest scoring offense in the league mustered seven points in the first three quarters last night. But I think one of the most important things to take from last night was that in the face of all of that, a star was born. Yes, Tom Brady had an incredible performance, and quite frankly, on, the, on those last couple of drives where Brady, if you thought the Patriots were going to score, you're out of your mind. The, the, the only question was, how much time were the Patriots going to leave the Chiefs on the last drive in regulation? The only question in overtime is, I think it's score a field goal or a touchdown, and can the Chiefs even hope to hold him to a field goal? As soon as that coin flip was won for the Patriots, the game was over. Tom Brady was going to go score. That's his M.O. Greatest quarterback of all time, greatest player of all time, clutchest quarterback of all time, best playoff quarterback of all time. All are worthy titles for Tom Brady. What a virtuoso performance. A far inferior team just took down the Chiefs and made them look inferior. The Chiefs were the best team in the NFL throughout the entire season. And the Patriots just came into Arrowhead and stomped them for three quarters. But the biggest story from last night is a star that was born in Kansas City. Going into the fourth quarter last night, Patrick Mahomes had a fairly mediocre day, to say the least. The Chiefs were down 17-7. His high-powered offense had scored 7 points the entire game. Tyreek Hill was invisible. He had one catch the entire game. His other star player, Travis Kelsey, three catches on the day. Your two star receivers put up four receptions for, I believe, 65 yards and one touchdown. That's it. Everyone's talking about how great these two weapons were. Belichick said, you're not going to win with it that way. Took him out of the game. Leading receiver for the Chiefs was Sammy Watkins. Damian Williams, a running back who the Chiefs signed in the offseason, had two touchdowns for them. And what a performance this was from Patrick Mahomes. Scores 24 points in the fourth quarter to, to get this one to overtime. 24 points after being shut down for three quarters. That is impressive. Not only that, after Brady scores that touchdown, and the Patriots score that touchdown with 39 seconds left, how many how many quarterbacks have folded in that situation? Brady gets the ball, a little over two minutes left, drives right down the field, Patriots score a touchdown, take a three-point lead. Far greater quarterbacks have crumbled. Far greater. In fact, if you remember, the Chiefs were down 14 nothing at halftime. The Pats, before prior to that game in the Tom Brady era, when Tom Brady played, were 72 and one when they led by 14 plus points at halftime. You know the one loss that was to Peyton Manning in the Indianapolis Colts in the AFC Championship game in 2006. One loss, and Patrick Mahomes almost made it two last night. Not only were the Chiefs down 10 points going into the fourth quarter last night, 
Or the defense couldn't stop the Patriots. Not at all. Patriots going up and down the field, controlling clock, doing whatever they wanted. And yes, they did have a couple timely takeaways that maybe kept the Chiefs in this game. But Patrick Mahomes was a star. Two minutes left. Patriots drive down the field. Score. 39 seconds remaining. Chiefs have one timeout. It's a Bill Belichick defense that gave them fits all day. And Patrick Mahomes led that team right down the field. And as time expired, score was 31 all because Patrick Mahomes, with one timeout, facing against all odds, if the Patriots team has dominated the AFC for 15, 20 years now, went right down the field. Mind you, this is the guy who's played, I believe, 19 games in his NFL career. 19 games. Already put together one of the greatest regular season performances of all time. 50 touchdowns. Second in passing yards. Leading one of the best offenses in recent memory. And it says only his 19th game. That's impressive. Yeah, Tom Brady was great. Tom Brady was magnificent last night. But his star was born in Kansas City last night. And his name was Patrick Mahomes. He stared down Brady. Looked him toe to toe. Said, yeah, you're the greatest of all time. Well, I'll match you. And for four quarters, that's exactly what Patrick Mahomes did last night. And if it weren't for a coin flip, a coin flip that prevented Patrick Mahomes from ever touching the ball in overtime, we have a much different story today. Yeah, Star was born in Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes went toe-to-toe with Brady and nearly won. This is his conference for the next 15 years. That kid is special. Thank you guys for watching.